Oh my god. Welcome to another episode. We are out here at a different lake today. I'm doing something that's been on my bucket list for a while. We're actually uh, trying to catch catch fish through the ice. And we're going to see how we do. And I'm going to be doing the actual field review of the Go Tour 28 inch rod. The one that I did uh, when I took it at kayak fishing. Now I'm actually going to be using it for ice fishing to tackle these big fish and see how it holds up. So I think it's going to hold up pretty well. I got it teamed up with a PC Fun Viper X which is a real nice reel with a with six pound floral ice line. So yeah, we're gonna see what we can catch today and uh, go from there. So yeah, make sure you guys comment, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And uh, let's get to the video. Let's go catch some catfish. All right. Dang, it works already, yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, dang, dang, oh my god, already, first one, oh, oh my god, oh my god, my camera's like, oh my god, heck yeah, oh dang, <laughs> all right, oh man, that was, that was too fast right there, holy cow, oh my god, that was like, what, not even a minute, yeah, guys, this is unbelievable right here, guys. We just set up. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's right up to the hole already. Right up to the hole already. So slippery. I came in. Came in and grab them. <laughs> I don't remember them being this slippery. Oh, my God. They're slippery. <laughs> oh, my God, guys. I can't believe it. We got my first catfish through the ice. Holy cow, guys. First drop. First drop. drop. <laughs> oh my god. Drop this right is... <laughs> this is my bucket list fish of the season. And I finally have it. Sorry, guys. It's so foggy in here. Let me clear the lens. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. As soon as I dropped my bait down, one came in real quick. Just stood there for a little bit and... Boom. Boom! Let me get this guy off first. Wow. Guys, I am stoked. Finally got one off my bucket list. Awesome. What's on your guys' bucket list? I got two more fish on my bucket list for this year. And then my season will be complete, guys. Cool, guys. Let's get this one on the ice and uh, let's go catch some more. Hopefully we get a lot more today and... Man, I'm just so excited right now, guys. Hey, guys. This is a revisit of the GoTour 28-inch power medium, light to medium. And you guys just saw me pull in that catfish, and it handled it pretty well, guys. Definitely a real nice two-piece ice rod. And we're going to land a couple more for you guys. Man, awesome rod. I paired up with a PC Fawn Viper X. Great, great combo, guys. Oh. Got him, got him. Oh, go. oh, heck yeah. Yeah, that one uh, went past and they came back. Yeah. It swept around and boom, it hit it. Oh, yeah, guys. Oh, it came oh, right no. off. Oh, man. Yeah, you can tell oh. these, <laughs> these fish are very finicky. So I was probably just hooked right on the slip or something. So guys, I'm just using these little eye jigs right here. It's got those big old eyes on it. And then, just taking a minnow, just popping the body off. Just using the minnow head with a little bit piece of the body on it too. And I'm just gonna hook it right through the, the lips, just like that. And now you just put it down the ice hole and wait for them to bite. But yeah, the fish are very finicky today. We had uh, probably, ah, yeah, a lot of strikes. Probably five, six strikes already. 
and uh, that's that was my second one to connect. And uh, my nephew, he got a couple to connect for a real short time too. Nice. He was on for a while. Cody, get the fight going. Just let me reel up so it doesn't get tangled. <laughs> Oh, nice. This is all too powerful. <laughs> oh, I think it's stuck in the chest. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's stuck in the chest as well. There you go. Got him? Okay. Oh, that's a nice one. That is a nice one. Oh, my God. Let me move my face so I don't get whacked. <laughs> two pound line. Yeah, two pound line, guys. When people say that you need big line, it's all in, it's all in how you fight the fish. Yep. Two pound line with a inline reel. Look at this, guys. Good fight. Just gotta know how to play the fish, and you guys can pull in fish with two pound line. I pulled Northerns with three pound line before too. Just gotta be patient with the fish. Oh, there he goes. Whoa, that's bigger than the one I got. Oh, oh my God. There he goes. Oh, heck yeah. Wow. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Oh, he swallowed it too? Oh, nice. Cody's catch, man. Wow. We're out here, uh, <laughs> we're out here catching catfish. Man. Man, that's a big catfish. Through the ice. Through the ice, guys. Yeah, they fight so much better through the ice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And they Very get the cool. long whiskers and everything. Man, this Very guy nice. is awesome. Good eating, oh. too. Do you guys know how to cook these? These are very good eating. Yeah. We're, uh, we're going to keep a few today. Not All a right. bunch, but a few. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, even though there's a lot of fish, it's still good to conserve them for future generations. And yep. you can always come out here and catch them again the next day. All right, good job, Cody. Yeah, awesome. Man, heck yeah. Yeah, one for one. <laughs> one for one. Oh, we got him? Got him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that one came up quick to you, bro. Yep. Oh, it's that a walleye. Oh, it's a walleye. Oh, shoot. Sure. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm caught over there, too. Yes. Oh, that's a nice walleye. Gotta keep her walleye. Nice. Look at that walleye, guys. It's a good. Yeah. I think it's like an 18 inch right there. Definitely a keeper. Yeah, definitely a keeper. Oh, you got him? Yep. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, look at look at a cold drag. Oh my god. Oh yeah, it's big. That is huge. Oh yeah, this guy's big. Wow, that is huge. <laughs> Whoa, oh my god. That is huge. Look at that, guys. Wow. 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 <laughs> yeah, that one never made it up a six inch hole. <laughs> oh man, look at that. Man. Wow. Huge. Wow. Look at that, guys. <laughs> that is a nice catfish. Wow. Huge.
There we go, got him. Oh yeah. Heck yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Good stuff. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. All right, yeah. They're getting active now. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Man, they're so slippery. Oh. I'm gonna go back to home. <laughs> nice, nice. Oh, beautiful fish. Oh yeah, it is. Oh man. There you go guys. TikTok time. What's going on fish dog? Look what I just caught. Just right now. Man, look at this bad boy right here. Kitty cat. Fat kitty cat. Oh man, look at this guy. Caught it through the ice. Six inch ice hole. Oh yeah. That's a beauty there guys. I'm here with my nephew and we're killing that catfish right now. We'll be getting more coming in. Time to go get some more. Let's go, let's go. Fish on guys. Kitty cat. Guys, I'm telling you about this go tour. This is a real nice catfish rod. After now I'm finding two big catfishes like that, it is definitely a great rod. I believe it's only like 30 bucks or 35 bucks or something like that. If you want a good, nice rod for catfishing or something for a bigger fish, this is the one right here. Go Tour 28, 28 inch. And just pair it up with a PC Phone Viper X or the PC Phone Carbon X. I'm telling you guys, you guys will not be disappointed. One thing, guys, when you guys are fish or a catfish, you guys want to kind of let the catfish load up on it before you set the hook if you set it too early it's gonna come right off if you set it too late it might spit it out already but you want it to load on the hook before you set the hook you actually you don't even want to really set the hook you just want to lift up and most of the times these catfish are hooked on the lips right on right in the front of the lips or right on the whiskers so that means that they're very finicky biters the cool thing about catfish is most, most of the time you think they're just bottom dwellers, but you'd be actually surprised that they are mid-swimmers. And most of the fish that my nephew and I caught, it was, we caught them in about, what, 25 to 30 feet of water, and, and they were about 15 to 20 feet. Mm-hmm. Okay, letting the load off, and got him. There we go. Got him. <laughs> guys, look at this go to a ride, guys. Oh, my God. They don't want mine. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Yeah, I'm using a pink uh the, the eye, huh? Yeah, the pink eye, yeah. Like mm-hmm. Oh guys I think this one's a lot bigger than the last one. This one doesn't really want to come up. Oh, it's right by the ice now. Oh my god. Oh yeah, that one's Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one guys. That's a big one. Oh, it's just like barely fitting through the six inch hole. Spin a lot. <laughs> yeah, they do. There it goes. Wow, that's a nice one. Look at that, guys. Holy cow. Wow, look at this, guys. Wow. That is a nice, beautiful catfish. Yes, you see, see you guys. This is where I hooked them right at the lips of the mouth. That's that's how finicky they are. They're just slowly just nipping at it, just getting a taste with the whiskers in. And when they have a grab of it, they just kind of slowly move away. That's when it loads up your rod, and that's when you set the hook. Or actually lift the hook. Yeah, see right here, guys. Right here, right on the lips. Look at that. comes off really easily. And don't worry about these big cats. They do have a lot of, like, sandpaper-type teeth, but... It's really not going to hurt you because all the weight is keeping their mouth open from me holding it this way. But for smaller cats, if you hold it this way, yeah, they're going to clamp down on your fingers. 
yeah, it's, it's gonna hurt a little bit. <laughs> well, these big ones are fine like that because uh, they're heavy. This is the last one I'm gonna keep. Our limit here is 10, but I'm only gonna keep uh, three of them because these are big catfish and I don't really need 10 catfish just sitting in the freezer. So. Whoa, all of a sudden all these fish just came in. All these catfish just came in, guys. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, who's gonna bite? Oh, oh, there he goes. Oh, oh there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. That's Cody. Hey, what's up, guys? Oh, yeah. I'm out here with my uncle. Oh, yeah. Catching some catfish. <laughs> it's pretty fun. So you guys should try it if you guys haven't. Yeah, definitely, guys. Try it. It's right here. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Best way is grab them underneath the fence. And pull them up. Yep, nice. Oops, beautiful, beautiful catfish, guys. This is what we came here for. To catch these beautiful monsters through the ice. Look at that. Wow. That is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. All right, Urban Adventures. Hopefully you guys uh, love this episode. We caught uh, quite a few uh, catfish. Again, I was using the GoTor 28 inch rod right here, paired with a PC Fawn Viper X. Highly recommended real rod and reel combo. So, yeah, go pick one up. I'm going to link it below for you guys to go take a look at it. And it's a real good, real good price for the, for the rod and reel. So, yeah, but anyways, I'm here with my, my, uh, my nephew Cody. We did an excellent job today, and I'm glad that he invited me out today, too, so. But anyways, I'll catch you on the next video. So make sure you follow your dreams, follow your passion, and make it happen. So, uh, comment, share, subscribe, whatever, yeah. All right, guys, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Until next time.